morning. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Rise and Shine Yoga. We are starting in two minutes, so grab your mat and get into a position that makes comfortable for you. Make us makes yourself comfortable today versus any other day. Um, so just get yourself comfy. Get into your proper mind space. And we will all join you very shortly. I, like, I don't like to um, require a starting position for you guys, ladies and gentlemen, and anyone in between. Um, I don't like doing that because some people are like, I just sat for umpteen hours. I don't want to sit. I want to lie down. Or I just got out of bed and the last thing I want to do is lie back down and think I'll go back to sleep or whatever it happens to be. So you pick the position for your centering, what you want, what you need. You know your body better than anyone. So it is one of seven right now. So we're going to start kind of breathing and getting ourselves situated and we will totally start class together at 7.05. A lot of people have been extra stressed lately, so we want to make sure that we are completely and utterly tuned off from the things that are going on in our outside world, outside of our little exercise yoga bubble. And if it takes an extra minute or two, then you know what? We need to take an extra minute or two. Hopefully everybody is good. Hopefully everybody is here on your mat. And we are actually going to start standing up. Okay, so we are going 
Just stand up. And we are going to come into our mountain pose. So our feet are about shoulder width apart. Our arms are out to the side and our palms are facing out. And we're relaxing our shoulders are back and down. And let's bring those hands to prayer in front. Bring those elbows out to the side and we're pushing into the palm. And let's drop those fingers facing down. Bring those fingers facing up, turn and face one direction, just with the neck. And then look the other way. Back to the center, palms facing in, fingers facing down, turn and look. And turn and look. Back to the center, bring those arms around. I want you to grab your opposite elbow. Standing up nice and tall. Drop your chin. And look up. Drop your chin. And look up. Keeping your arms where they are. Lift on one toe, set of toes, lift on the other. Just kind of walking your feet. And I want you to lift and kind of push over on itself. So we're lifting and stretching out the big toe, stretching out the top of the foot. If you need to remove your arms for balance, it's totally fine. And hold. And push it out and hold. Release, bring those hands away from your elbows. Grab your other hand and bring those arms out to the side. And bring it back down, relax. Lift it back up again. And relax, shake out those shoulders. And one more time, lift. And release. 
work that hand up to grab that opposite shoulder blade. Sitting up nice and tall still. And switch it out to the other side. And release, and then roll those shoulders a couple times. And switch directions. Beautiful. I'd like you to bring those arms straight overhead. My palms are facing like this. I'm gonna grab a wrist and pull it on over here. And then switch, grab the other wrist, pull it on over. Come back to the center on grabbing the arms, lean over to the side. And the other way. Come back to the center, bring those arms down. Let's now, instead of stepping up, let's go all the way up, open, and come back. Other side, open, and come back. Let's keep going. Let's do one more each side. Beautiful. Grab a drink really quick. And we're going to turn sideways on our mat. I would like you to bring your toes out to the side so you're in a plie or sumo position. I would like you to tuck your hips under so you're not sticking anything out. You're tucked under. We're going to do some little squats. So I'm going to actually turn this way. So as you can see, the arm is going to go down and up, coming back to shoulder height. Now if you want to bring those arms all the way up, you can. And then come back to neutral. I'd like you to open an arm, close it. Stick with this one side. Opening up like a book. And let's switch it out the other way. cross one arm over the other, doesn't matter which one. We're going to open both and then switch to have the other arm on top. Make X and back down to a V. We're really opening up that chest here. Squeeze open. Two more each side. One. And two. Beautiful. You can bring those feet in for a second. Shake them out. And then we're going to go back into that V position. 
don't fall over, and then bring our arms out to the side. And we're gonna do a shift to the center, shift back to the center. Make sure those hips are tucked under. back to the center, drop those arms, and shake them on out. Let's just lean forward, feeling a stretch in the back of my legs and my hamstrings coming on up. Hands are wherever they feel like being. My feet, mine feel like being crossed in front. They can be on your hips, they can be behind your back, they can be behind your head, they can be wherever they want. Next time I'm going to go down, I'm going to stay down. Oh, come on up. Beautiful. I'm going to hit toe those feet in. I'm going to take a second. I'm going to relax. I bring my arms out to the side and then bring them down on the tops of my thighs, leaning forward, bending my knees if I need to. A nice flat back. I could put a pizza here. Nothing's happened to that pizza. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna do that two more times. Hands on the thighs, lean forward, flat back. And I'm gonna come up. And one more time, back down. This time bring those hands all the way to the ground. Bring one knee back, bring the other knee back. And we're going to go into a child pose with your arms back behind you. Curling up into a ball, letting those shoulder blades open and relax. Every time we add a little heat to the body, we want to make sure that, that heat can dissipate. And we are going to do that here. And if you want to use some sort of prop, put your head on the prop. That's fine. I just want to make sure that you are able to breathe in this position, that you're not totally crunched over and squishing your lungs. Let go of the shoulders even more. Let them open up. Slowly roll that head up. And then swing those legs out to the side. I'm having my feet not stacked on top of each other, so they were up here hanging out. Now they're separated. Forearm on the ground, lift up and over. Shoulder on top of shoulder. And release. Let's go to the other 
this side. Oh, I feel like I need to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Feet are apart. On that forearm. Up and over. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Come on up, pivot towards that knee, and walk your hands down, keeping this hip on the ground. Come back to that straight leg and walk those hands down. Pivot towards that bent leg. Walk it down, hip on the ground still. Back up, rotate, walk it down. Beautiful. Come on up, bend that knee. Let's cross one in front, one behind as so. Readjust how you're sitting to make it as comfortable as possible. Hands on tops of the thighs and a little slight push. Nothing, nothing big. You'd rather put your elbows on if that feels more comfortable. That's fine too. And just leaning forward slightly, opening up those hips a bit. Some nice deep breaths. Switch out of side. Mm -mm. 
adjust anything that needs adjusting. And then place those hands or those elbows. Give our shins a little rub, walk a little side to side, whatever feels like you, it'll make you feel better. All right, are we ready to stand back up again? All right, so let's swing those legs around, roll onto all fours, tuck those toes under, and walk those hands back. Or if there's another way you want to stand up, go for it. Not get little socks off. Okay. So let's go back into that side stance. So I'm just going to do it this way. But we're nice and wide on our mat, so our feet are on our mat. We're not going to slide on our carpet, wood floor, whatever we got going on. Concrete. And we're going to tuck those toes so they're pointed out just like before. <sighs> Feeling good? All right, so let's bring those arms up and we're going to slide and then we're going to bring that hand to the inside of the, of the thigh or the shin. And then we're going to come up and we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to come up two more times just like that. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna hold it. We're gonna come down and we're gonna hold for 10. Three, two, one. Come on up. And switch sides for 10. Three, two, one, come on up, let those arms drop. <sighs> Shake it out. All right, I want you to tilt and twist your body so you're facing one leg, doesn't matter which one, I don't care. We're doing both. All I want you to do is bend forward at the hips and hang out here, feel a nice stretch in this front leg. You can walk those hands down the leg if you want but we're not supporting our body here. The arms are just kind of here, hanging out. And we're gonna come up, and we're gonna face the other way. I do need to go on my mat, I'm slipping. So I'm facing the other way. I'm bringing those hips back, nice flat back. And I'm gonna wanna walk those hands down. And come on up. I want you to keep on switching back and forth between those two sides. Nice and slow and controlled. We're 
We're going to do one more each side so we're nice and even and then come back to the center. And when you're ready, back to the center in our mountain pose. deep breaths here, giving everyone a chance to come back to center together. No matter how fast or slow you were going through that, you were going through it, what your body needed today, based on your breath. All right, let's bring those arms up. Bring them down. Come all the way down. Bend those knees generously, hands to the ground. And come up on the toes. I cannot breathe for diddly this morning. Huh. All right, bring those hands to prayer. And then bring those hands down. Coming to tabletop. Let's go through a quick little cat cow here just because we can and it feels good. So we're arching our back. And then reversing that. Do as many as feels good to you. I'm going to go through one more. And then I'm going to come to a nice neutral spine. And I'm going to pick one leg. I'm going to bring it in front. And come up into a low lunge. And you're just going to be on the waist. And I'm going to get nice and high, really pushing that chest forward. Feeling good. And let's turn and face one way. And turn, face the other way. Come back in, bring that foot to the outside of the mat. And bring those forearms to the mat. If you have a block, you want to use that, great. If not, don't worry, do what feels good. If you don't have a block and you can't go that low, you can just stay here. Do a couple more cat cows. Ugh. Find a neutral spine and bring that other foot up. One up. Push that chest forward. And then wiggle that foot over to the side. And then you're going to come down on your hands, on your elbows, or using a prop. Lean on in. back together, knees back together, and let's just turn and wiggle those hips, wagging your imaginary tail. And 
and then turn and wiggle one way and look over that shoulder. So my hips are to the right and I'm looking over my right shoulder, but it can be the opposite. Continue doing it to your left. And switching out other side. And come back to the front arm. Okay, tuck the mat over on itself. You have extra as support. Pop that knee on it. And we're gonna come nice and high. Then I'm gonna grab the other. So I'm going oh, down for here, and I can either lean down or come up, whatever feels good. And I'm just gonna kind of push everything forward. So I'm I'm feeling it up in here. I'm just going to stay where I am and you can cross over the other side of your mat and pull that side back. You can lean forward, you can lean back, whatever you need to do to feel the stretch in that quad at the front of your leg. And release. All right, now I'm going to sit back on my heels. I'm gonna bring those arms behind me and I'm gonna lift that belly button up towards the sky. into pigeon and if you would rather do recline pigeon that's okay totally fine I'm going to take one leg I'm going to kick it back I'm going to lift that leg up and bring that knee in and I'm going to bring my knee and my foot to facing three and a hawk or to the best of my ability now if you're having allergies with like me this morning, maybe staying up here is the way to go. So you can just take nice deep breaths. Otherwise, you can come down to your forearms or bring your head on the ground or to a prop. I think this is a nice compromise for me so I can still breathe. But I would like you to relax your head and neck as much as possible and really breathe into that Take a second. I'm going to bring that other leg back. Kick it back. Stretch out that calf. Bring that leg up. Bring that knee in. And then come out to the side. Nine and three. And then stay up nice and tall for a second. Look down. Look up. And then you can come down to whatever position you were on the other side. And hopefully it's something that you can do on this side as well. And let's breathe.
to all fours. And then we're gonna uh, come on back to the start. So you know the drill we do some days, we either have a play time or abs time. So we have about two minutes of that. So you can either do abs with me or you can do something else, or you can go into Shavasana and spend the entire five minutes there. So totally your choice, whatever you'd like to do. So for the abs people, we're going to lay on our back. And it's going to feel really nice, and you're not going to want to do anything, and I totally get it. What we're going to do is we're going to do full sit-ups, and then come on, just extend our arms up in the air, four times, two on the right side, two on the left side, and then come down. So we're gonna come all the way up. One, two, three, four, and back down. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way. We're gonna do that 10 times slowly. We're not going for speed, we're not going for momentum, we're going for actual body-driven movement. All right, your hands can be behind your head across your chest, wherever they need to be, as long as you're not pulling yourself up. And if you can't do a full sit up, a crunch is fine. All right, let's come up. One, two, three, four, back down. Number two. One, two, three, four. Up. One, two, three, four. Up for four. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four. Six. Two, three, four. Seven. Eight, two more left. One, two, three, and four. Laying down, dropping those knees to one side. Feeling good. And dropping those knees to the other side. Feeling good. And then transitioning to our Shavasana. I will be doing my Shavasana student today. Just for comfort's sake. But feet, please feel free to get comfortable on the ground. Open those shoulders, tuck them underneath you, let those feet fall out to the side, and relax, palms up, tongue at the roof of your mouth, just relaxing, breathing, and being. We're going to finish off class today here for our two minutes. As always, I invite you to stay as long as you are able to, but I will tell you when those two minutes are.
Thank you all for coming. It is now 7.45. Take that information as you will. See you on Thursday.